Good morning, I'm Frank Winack, a member of the Peace Fair Planning Committee, and we're here at the Brunswick Green, Brunswick, in front of the gazebo, to talk about the Peace Fair, which is going to be coming up on August the 4th, Saturday. And with me I have Christine Detroit, who's a member of PeaceWorks Maine, and one of the original organizers of the fair. We're going to have a little conversation about the fair and about her work. So first question, um, Christine. Tell us a little bit about your childhood experience which led you to becoming a peace activist? Well, actually it's a long story, of course, but I'll make it short. I, I grew up in, uh, in Germany in the 30s and 40s uh, under the dictatorship of Hitler. And of course the war coming in which I think predominated my uh, youthful experiences. Um, by and large, I think dictatorship uh, as well as the cruelty of war, the persecution and, and all impacted me very much. I, uh, luckily, I grew up in a very progressive community where you did have naysayers, so uh, I was not just surrounded by Nazi slogans. I was encouraged to ask questions of my mother only, <laughs> my family at home, uh, outside of the home, and it would have been dangerous. Um, but I kept this questioning in my mind, and when I came to this country in 1947, uh, I immediately decided that my, my voice was going to be heard, and I would be able to express my belief that one did not have to, uh, one could live in harmony with people uh, and still have one's own op opinion. Uh, but the important thing was not to kill the mind, the spirit, and the person and their home in order to live in peace and justice. Christine, what was your inspiration to organize the first peace fair way back in 2004? All right, well, there are three very different um, insp inspirations in a way, events. The first one was I was having a conversation with my then 11-year-old grandson about the, our peace group. And he said, you know, Gosama, uh, you know, peace and, ju and justice and peace and war are very serious um, just, uh, you know, I events. And yet, I think all of you need to have some fun sometime. I think you need to have a, a party with music and food. <laughs> Typical young person. Maybe for all of us. Anyway, that was uh, the first idea. And I did speak to that about the rest of the peace group um, within a week when we had our meeting. And so we said, well, you know, uh, let's, let's have a celebration of some sort, some sort of an event. And we went from there to, uh, this was in April of uh, 2005. Anyway, and uh, thinking about the fact that it was uh, 60 years since uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki and the end of World War II, uh, we said uh, this will be our theme, peace in this world, it is possible. The third uh, in impetus was really also uh, remem uh, remembering uh, Bruce Gagnon, one of our peace activists, who had held a small peace fair in Tampa, Florida, where we lived some years ago. And I remembered being together with a group there, and it, is, it was not just supportive of one another, but we did have fun together and fun along with uh, thinking about the importance of peace for all the world was, was a good combination. What sort of organizations are representative and uh, participate in the fair? Well, it's a real mix of organizations. I mean, first of all, uh, there are, of course, peace organizations. We have uh, also a lot of nonprofits in the field of, of social justice and um, environmental organizations. Uh, several churches, uh, the faith um, community is also part and parcel, and so it is, it is a good mix of people and, and their backgrounds and their interests. I know that the fair always occurs the first weekend in August because that coincides with the anniversary of the atomic bombing of Japan ending World War II, but does the focus or the theme of the fair change from year to year? Uh, well, uh, good question. Uh, the, th the theme remains looking at peace and justice and how we can achieve it 
and really the many possibilities we have to tap into peace and justice without giving up what we consider our national identity. So yes, the theme uh, changes some, the focus doesn't. And what's the basic message that you hope to convey uh, for those that attend the fair? The word peace is the important part of it. Justice is another important part. As the saying goes, there is no peace without justice. There is no justice without peace. And um, we hope that um, the fair as it sells uh, with people coming and going and, and smiling faces and interested faces uh, gives you the idea that yeah, open discussions are not only possible uh, and important, but are really something that both parties really gain from. It's a, that, I think, is probably the most important thing about the Peace Fair. Over the years, what has given you the greatest satisfaction about um, putting this fair together? Well, first of all, just the fact that the fair has, uh, we've been celebrating it and organizing it since 2005 has just been great. Um, the getting to know people, uh, the tablers, the people, the organizations who come to the fair are uh, such a wonderful mix. So we've made many friendships. Uh, the fair goers who people come are great and then also it has been wonderful the relationship we've had with the town of Brunswick and the freedom that we have on using the the uh, uh, town green without, uh, without with restrictions uh, I think it's all been very positive and uh, great satisfaction well thank you Christine and um we hope that you'll all come to the Peace Fair. It will be Saturday, August 4th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. The theme for this year's fair is Imagine a World Without Nuclear Weapons. And we hope that uh, it's a nice, as nice a day as it is today on August 4th. And we hope to see you there. Thank you.